Welcome to Pixelmon Catch Em All. In this series, we're gonna capture every single Pixelmon. So without further ado, let's get started. Can you do Poketake 2, by the way? I took your Pokemon. Jordan, you stole my Pokemon and you named him Greymon? <laughs> yeah, because mine's number one, baby. I mean, I kind of like Greymon, but he's not a Digimon, Jordan, but that's okay. <laughs> anyway, hey, yo, what is going on, everyone? Welcome to Pixelmon. Gotta catch them all, Jordan. We're going to be catching Ooh. each and every Pokemon. And while I only have one Pokemon right now in the Pokedex, Jordan, let me get two. Wait, what do you mean? Now, Jordan, I have two Pokemon in no. the Pokedex. <laughs> Take two, Jordan. Thank you. Very nice. You agree that you just took number two, not number one? <laughs> you're toxic. As in your Bulbasaur is not number one. So the only thing we're starting here is <laughs> with fire. That looks very strange. I don't know why it's static for me. Regardless, we only started with an XP alt because that's something that will help reduce just unnecessary grinding. Yes. But everything else Jordan, we're gonna be getting for ourselves. So let's uh let's go steal everything from this town, okay? We need Pokeballs, man. Yes, we're gonna be getting everything by the sweat of our brow. And by that I mean taking from the works of others, but they're not real. They're villagers. Come on, it's the YouTuber thing to do. Exactly. <laughs> by the way, uh, if you want to go check down below, we've started a reaction channel. No, Jordan, we definitely haven't, nor are we going to. <laughs> what? Have you already looted all the chests right here? Of course. And I got seven repeat balls, dude. As as well as a dire hit and other things that I will sell to then turn into more Pokeballs because my plan is due to only buy things that will help me facilitate this catching journey. Sounds good. So one thing that's interesting, Jordan, is I do think they might restock stuff like every day. Ooh. I have a theory that they do. Is, is it a theory about a video game? <laughs> what are you talking about? Otherwise known as a game theory? Okay, yeah, that's what okay, it is. That yeah, the... that is what it is, Jordan. Yo, you got me good. Oh, I got you so good. Good. You, you got me good. Oh. So this is a thing that we're working together to do. I don't think I can catch this Golurk yet. Maybe I'll throw I'll, I'll throw one Safari Ball at him. And maybe, just maybe, nope, I didn't catch him. Not happening. Hey, yo, this dude had a blue bed, Nick. Does everybody have blue beds in this village? I have no idea. But Jordan, is there a shop here or not? I don't know. There's a trading machine. Can I break that and then sell it back? <laughs> no, I don't think you can sell trading machines because you can't buy them either. But we will need a trading machine for this series, even though trading machines are really broken and don't work right now in Pixelmon. Wait, Jordan, we actually don't need a Pokemon because the people at the stands can be shopkeepers. Dude, yeah, man. And this person is my Pokemart. I'm going to name him Jeffrey. When you say him, are you looking at the same person? I, regardless, Jordan. I, uh, thank you, Tiffany. Apologies for, you know. Yeah, she already has a name. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sally. <laughs> yeah, like, what, what are you doing, man? <laughs> you know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sorry. Like, like they, they already have names, Jordan. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Oh, the quick balls. I'm going to buy some. Ah, oh, but that's not what I need right now. I need net balls. Pro Wait, not net ball. Nest ball would be pretty good right now. Wait. I will buy a lot of poke balls. We just need lots. Is nest ball Nicholas good for what we need right now, or is that weak Pokemon, Jordan? Weak Pokemon. Is it weak based on your own level though? No, it's based on the Pokemon's level. I'm pretty sure. Okay, well, I don't see her even selling nest balls for me. No, she's not. That's what I. Said. Oh. First you call her Tiffany, and now you do this, Jordan. Maybe I buy as many Pokeballs as I can get? What do you think about that? Yep, that's what I did. Genius moves from Jordan, how be it, you know, very late. Dude, this is so nice to make so much money and get so many Pokeballs. I love that they added these to Pixelmon. Wait, Nicholas, I bought as many Pokeballs as I could get, and I have. It, she gave me Great Balls. So you clicked the wrong thing. And then you got confused why you didn't have more Pokeballs, but it was in fact because you bought Great Balls. No, I don't think so. Okay, man, so hey, let's try, man, <laughs> to not catch the same things others have. Have you gotten Weedle yet? I've not caught anything yet. All right, I'm gonna capture a Weedle dude and rapidly evolve it into Beedrill to knock out that entire line. Sounds good to me. I'm catching a swine up right now. <laughs> good. Swine up. I love it. I could have over 100 Pokeballs right now if I wanted, and I am actually close already without selling a lot of things. Wait, how? How did you do this? Jordan, I am very good at taking everything from a village. Ah, yes. And I have a swine up, Jordan. We're up to three out of... How many Pokemon? It's like over a thousand now, right? <laughs> Wait, I actually don't remember the exact number, isn't it? Let me, I'll look it up, dude. It's like a lot, Jordan. I don't think they're all in the game. Overall, there's a thousand and twenty-one Pokemon. Let's be real, Jordan. All the Pokemon will probably be added by the time we're able to get this challenge completed. First off, you're hilarious. 
because, uh, it, it, no. <laughs> what do you mean, no? We're gonna catch them so fast. And by the time we get done, they're gonna add the next generation, dude. Come on. Oh, I hope it, it shouldn't take that long. But I do expect it to take a while. Time for you to drop your prediction, man. What's the new game gonna be called? Uh, Pokemon Space. Pokemon Space and Pokemon... Space 2. Ground. Pokemon Space and Pokemon Earth. <laughs> that would be so garbage, Troy. I terrible. thought I caught this slowpoke, but I have not yet. All right, dude. Well, yo, I'm on my way to capture a Talo, which I think I've gotten right now. And by... Oh, no, it's getting pumped. Nicholas, it's getting pumped. Oh, it's using focus energy. Dude, that means that it's going to crit me and kick me out of this fight if I don't catch it right now. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Nicholas, your wishes were invaluable as I have captured it. Cool, and I've caught three Pokemon as well. How many? Have you got two? That's pretty solid. So what I want to do right now, I'm going to poke take your Pokemon. Oh, yeah. To, no, I'll do that at the end of the episode so that like we have it all in the same Pokedex. Yes. Aurora Borealis? Are you kidding me? I started using new shaders recently. This is the first time I've seen it. It's so beautiful. And this is where we're spending our time, even though I was going to say that we needed to find <laughs> Scyther or Scizor or something like that so that we could have Fall Swipe. I also want a Pokemon that can use Hypnosis, but I am, my eyes, Jordan, they're burning with joy. <laughs> this is so nice looking. You don't understand how good this looks. Unfortunately, I can't understand, but it is, I would enjoy seeing Aurora Borealis. It seems fantastic. It's beautiful. I'm gonna run and get this worm pole that's back here also, because that's a lot of Pokemon. We need leather boots, Jordan. Did you fall as well? <laughs> Were you on fire? It kind of looked like you were on fire for a moment. No, I wasn't. I think it's just Aurora Borealis. I don't think so. Are we going to die? Uh, is keep inventory on? Um, it is now. <laughs> yep, we're going to die. <laughs> so, Jordan, I think the easiest time in the series is right now where we can catch pretty much everything, even though I keep seeing swine ups. And I also <laughs> keep almost dying because I am trolling. And we need leather boots is what I'm seeing right now. Like, really yes. badly so that I can just run in the snow without... Fear of death. Could I get the leather from these swine ups that you think are so common? Go for it, Jordan. Dude, this Rookity just dodged me. Like I was, I, I was throwing the Pokemon and it immediately just fell to the ground. That was kind of insane. Bro, that's that's uh, that's crazy. Talk. Well, it's not that crazy. It kind of makes sense that would try to dodge. Dude, Rookity is one of the simplest Pokemon. When you're going out to get your first Pokemon, they're like, go for the Rookity. It it won't do anything. I did catch it. There's a chance, Jordan, that it actually won me to catch it, and it slowed down, so I'd catch it and get it out of this snowy, snowy place. Cause maybe it was Ooh, cold. Could be true. Yeah, dude. Well, yo, there also might be those Tinka Tufts around. Those things slap it down with a hammer, you know? Oh yeah, those are in the game too. I like too that they added in a Pokemon to tell you why you can't fly around on Corviknight anymore in Scarlet and Violet. They were like, you can't fly around this game because Tinkatuff. Oh, is that the official lore? That's the official lore, dude. That's not just me saying something crazy. We're also going to have to get all the legendaries which is going to be a little bit nuts. <laughs> we know exactly how that feels and it, it takes a very long time. I might wait for another update. <laughs> Dude, it's so beautiful. Larvitar. Whoa. Having a map is so nice, man. Dude, having a map is so great. I'm gonna catch this uh, salt in case we need to season any dishes. Salt? Is it an NACL or something? Yes, yeah, sir. Wait, what are those called? That's what they're called. They're just called NACL? Oh, it's NACLI, so it's knackly oh, or something. Salty. Ah, yes. I don't know how it's pronounced at all, but I'm gonna call it salty because I kind of like that anyways. It's kind of fun. You know what else is fun, Jordan? Catching Larvitar in a Safari Ball. That would be really fun. That would look delightful because then, dude, it could be a Tyranitar in a Safari Ball. Exactly. That's what I was thinking. The only issue with this is that it's not wanting to be caught, but I did just smack it quite a lot, and now it's in red. Is it Santa Claus? Is Larvitar Santa Claus because it's in red? No, I mean it's HP bars in red, and I have cart- I have cart Larvitar. Well done, dude. I'm gonna be honest with you, I just couldn't think of anybody else that wears red. Do the, does the B British army wear red? The, at one point, they did. They had some red coats, you know? Yeah, yeah, because Paul Bunyan, he rode down the road and was like, the British are coming, and they, they were, he was like, be careful. They're wearing red. They're very sus. Yeah, they'll smack the Corviknights out of the air, right? Yes, dude. Now we're with cooking with peanut big oil. Big British hammers. Yes, that's what they're known for. Hammers, right? Yeah. Nicholas, if we keep talking, they might think I know anything about Britain. Not if you say it like that. Beans on toast, beans on toast. Beans on toast, beans on toast. Okay, so this is a really interesting area to start a journey, Jordan. Like, Dude, have you yeah. ever started a, anywhere like this before? I've never started in a town right near a forest that I did not realize was next to the Arctic tundra. It's kind of absolutely insane, and there's 
up ice spikes here too. I'm also hating the snow. I'm teleporting. Dude, here. I despise it. Yeah, TV, TV. The one thing, dude, oh. that I am enjoying more than I thought is that oftentimes during our 100 days series, we sleep through the nights. Often because there's nothing that we must do at night. Yeah, but there's plenty for us to do now. Exactly. There's no reason to wait to. Since that's how I'm used to playing Minecraft now, this is a delight to just be out here with the northern lights flaring above us. It's delightful. Yep, and during the only pressure of getting this done quick is the pressure we're putting on ourselves to entertain everyone watching this. Exactly. And if it takes 6,000 episodes, people won't watch episode. Actually, they might watch episode 6,000. Now that I think about it. Yeah, but none of the other ones. <laughs> We're trying to do this as quickly as possible. If you find a channel, and they're on, they're on episode 58,000 of something. I'm catching all the Pokemon. They're going to be like, I don't know if I should. These guys don't seem very good at catching all of the Pokemon. Well, it's less than a Pokemon every few episodes. That's significantly less. That's about a Pokemon every 58 episodes if they finish in episode 58,000. <laughs> These guys are terrible. There is a cave I could jump down into, but the Pokemon there are potentially strong. Oh, but I see a Carbink. I got to go for it, Jordan. Bro, I love Carbinkle. This cave is massive. Bro, is the cave massive? Or is your imagination massive and you're pretending- I'm not imagining the cave! It's real and it's massive! Okay, I'm just saying, the last time you said that, you know- There's a home down here. Okay, we all believed you, Nicholas, and we said it was okay, but you're not allowed to make up- I found diamonds! Okay, I- Can you get some sticks, Jordan? We need diamonds at some point. I'm gonna call mom again. <laughs> get some tree, Jordan! Okay, I'll go find some tree in a moment, dude. I'm currently in the Arctic where tree does not exist. Okay, I guess Pokemon aren't spawning down here i just hate the fact that i have to leave diamonds potentially i agree unfortunately dude i'm not gonna be able to get a pickaxe that can mine that fast enough okay well these are the coordinates right here you can totally see them uh diamonds there cool 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 yo did you catch carbing no i didn't i thought it was down in the cave but it obviously wasn't worry not nicholas also i'm learning now that larvitar does not look even remotely rare what do you yeah no i've seen a few of them dude i'm catching carbink right now though bro so your failures will be will be fixed by my success i wouldn't really call it a failure but um that, that's okay i guess we're, we're we're working together this series jordan the carbuncle killed me nicholas <laughs> what a fail <laughs> hey we're working together this series nicholas i wouldn't really call it a failure well one of us is working a little bit better than the other it seems and one of us is being very rude and making <laughs> the other one sad <laughs> And who started it? You, whenever you didn't show up for brunch that one time. Yeah, that's true. You were like, we're gonna meet up for brunch, and I, 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 and then no one came. It is what it is, Jordan. It is what it is. Also, wow, this is a lot of snow. I really thought it was going to end by now. Yeah, right? It says that it's snowy plains, but this is not snowy plains. This is snowy mountains. Mountains upon mountains of snow. Bro, 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 it's not snowy plains, it's snowy pains. Yo! It's a pretty good one. I'm yeah, gonna write yeah, that yeah. in my memoir and say that I was the one who wrote it. Well, I have footage of it, and I might be the editor on this episode, so you, you, you can't really get away with that. Or can I? Hey, I see some forest up ahead and some Finally. water. There's gonna be a lot of Pokemon to get here. Yes, there are, dude. What's gonna be interesting, man, is as whoa, whoa, the ice is forming, the glacier's consuming all. Be weary, Nicholas. What are you talking about? Ice. Look, look. Wait, Nick. Look at me. Wait, Nicholas. Look at me. I have the power of ice! Oh, you got frost walker boots. Oh, what, do I? <gasps> yeah, I mean, you had to have. You just didn't realize it. You can you can run on, yeah. Fear me, Pokemon! I bring... It's very cool. Doom and destruction. You didn't know that this is a vanilla Minecraft feature, did you? Don't make me admit that on camera. <laughs> well, you kind of pretty <laughs> much just did. Nicholas, this is one of the most fun things I've ever done. This is sick. I thought that the glacier dude was just naturally yeah, moving forward. I was forward. so confused by what you said because it made... No sense at all. No, it made tons of sense, but it turns out it was me. I was sick. What makes no sense is that the game says it's raining heavily. But it's not, Nick. I'm aware that it's not, but I am catching a fletchling. Bro, I'm drawing a snake in the river. <laughs> okay, turn good. <laughs> Good job. Keep up the good work, brother. I'm gonna catch this Surskit, okay? There's so many Pokemon to catch here, Jordan. You should be getting to it, okay? Oh yeah, man. As soon as I'm done with my new life's passion. <laughs> Drawing snakes? Oh wait, it disappears. Yes, it <sighs> Did you just now look backwards? <laughs> I was just looking forwards, man. Hey, I mean, that's that's not too bad to do in life, Jordan, but sometimes it's worth looking back and thinking about stuff. I, I was imagining, dude, like, what my life would be like now that I can frost walk. <laughs> and, like, 
all the changes that it would have for me. Yeah. Hey, did you catch a surskit yet? I tuned you out for the past several icy minutes. I did catch a surskit. I did. I have terrible news, Nicholas. We've caught two surskits. Mmm, yeah. Wait, did I just see rain for a second? What is going on? Did a bird poop on me or something, man? Okay, you and I are having two vastly different experiences, aren't we? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we are waterfall dude. This is like an actual waterfall This is the first like vanilla looking waterfall. I've ever seen in minecraft. That's so cool Interesting man. teleport to me. I want to see you freeze it. You caught a tailor, right? I did yeah, man Okay, you see I I'm remembering what you're saying and you're not remembering what I'm saying la, la, la. Oh, I can't freeze it Nicholas. I'm not strong enough <laughs> So you can't affect flowing water is what it is. Apparently my powers are limited. Yes. Have you captured a Pidgey, Nicholas? I've not caught a Pidgey. I'm going after a Caravana right now. One thing I will say is on a Pixmon server, well, at least for us with how we're doing everything, a lot of Pokemon don't show up unless we're together. So That's true. it I'm on kind of is a problem. We do have to communicate to each other what we're catching. I know, I like that it's a problem that you and I must communicate. I think that's funny that that's a problem. You're a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I'm catching Aracuda. Jordan, it's okay, I don't need to breathe, I'm underwater. Wait. You're gonna need some Aracuda, Nicholas, because uh, you can't breathe water, Aracuda. That one was acceptable. Was it? It was kind of pain. Oh, 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 I'm getting you. Don't you worry, I'm getting you. You know what this is reminding me of a little bit, though, is the Pokemon Ice Gyms, where you have to, like, walk across before the ice breaks. Man, I defeat the Pokemon. Wait, is that the first Pokemon? That's the first Pokemon I defeated. I defeated it, Jordan, because I confused it with Water Pulse, and then it hit self in confusion, I think, twice. It's unfortunate, dude, but I was kind of having fun playing reverse Minecraft spleef. Yeah, Drink, go get yourself a Patrizu. You want one, don't you? Oh, dude, Patrizu's hold a special place in my heart because I thought they would evolve into a really, like, you know how Greedent looks? Yeah. It's exactly what I thought Patrizu would turn into, like, to a T. Really? That's what I imagined in my childlike mind. But different colors, I presume. Yeah, yeah, it would be like blue. It would look like Patrizu, but big. Dude, I caught a Poliwag. Also, something that's crazy to me in Pixelmon that I didn't know for the longest time, and this is how it is in a lot of Pokemon games, too, is that the more Pokemon you catch, the easier it is to catch Pokemon. Interesting. So the more we continue this, the better our abilities will be. I think it's also going to be, especially by the time we start catching legendaries, it's going to be worth it to look into how we get the catching charm. I believe there's a legitimate way. It just might be absolutely ridiculous. Well, in that case, ma'am, we might just have to be absolutely ridiculous back. <laughs> okay. Like how, Jordan? You know, like... Like crazy town, dog. You got your skateboard? <laughs> Ridiculous, man. Rad. Do you have your skateboard? What is? I've seen you skateboard, man. It's funny. Oh, dude, I'm so good at it. I can, I can ollie. I can. Can I tell you something? If you uploaded daily skateboarding videos, I would watch all of your skateboarding videos. I just want you to know that. I would be your biggest fan. I'll do it. You caught the Pidgey, right? Of course I did, dude. Okay, you catch a Rattata? Bro, no, I haven't seen one yet. Oh, really? What about this one up here? You catch it yet? No, you find the elute here. I can see you and catch it if you want me to. I I guess I'll catch it, Jordan. Bro, go for it. Hey, do you think you can handle Rattata? I was just making sure that you didn't catch the specific Rattata I'm catching already. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, because then you'd be stealing. Yeah. Wait, that sounds kind of cool. Stealing all of Jordan's Pokemon with the command Poketake? I could do it. Have you caught a Squirrelvet? It's the Squirrel Pokemon that evolves into Greedon eventually? No, I have not. I had to think about it, Jordan, because, you know, I've caught so many Pokemon. There's so many Pokemon. I've caught a 14 Pokemon. Wow, dude. And it was all through, like, very, very optimal means. We didn't take anything from nobody and we did what we needed to. Wow, you're, it's starting to sound like we are criminals by you trying to say that we're pretty much not criminals. We're not criminals. Yes, you don't, you shouldn't specify that. Did it just start oh. raining again for a moment? What is going on? There's a hundred days dude that we did where there was no rain for the entirety of the series. Do I have weather off? Weather is off. Okay, it's back on. Bunnelby, have you caught Bunnelby? Of course not. Oh, okay. I, I thought it was going to be, of course I have, but then it, it wasn't. No, why would I, why would I do that, man? Why would I take away that joy that you could have? There's no joy here, Jordan. Only drive to catch them all. Imagine, Nicholas, if I came to your house and, like, you had me take care of your dog for a little bit and I taught him to ride a bike. I took away that joy that you would have of teaching your dog to ride a bike, you know? <laughs> Dude, oh man, it's it's a little too late for you. I've taught both my dogs how to ride bikes though. Without training wheels? Yeah. No, that's pretty good. Without wheels at all, actually. Well, that's, that's, how do they roll? They don't, they slide. Wow. Anyways, welcome to my next skateboard video with my dogs biking around <laughs> on rails. Bro, do you know that you would be more successful than Mr. Beast if you made skateboarding videos with biking dogs? You know, oh, is that your Bulbasaur, Jordan? Wait, we don't need another Bulbasaur. <laughs> I, I need not be excited. <laughs> You just, you just noticed that when you said it? Well, I didn't know if it was yours or not. 
but like, you know, I gotta try. Where is this Applin? What I wanted to do, man, was I wanted to have Bulbasaur and Squirtle because I think Charmander's, broadly speaking, the easiest one to find. But dude, then you were like, uh, I already picked Charmander because, you know, that's what I like picking. I was like, come on, dog. Jordan, I, I initially picked Squirtle. I was just excited to find Squirtle. Mm. Did you find Squirtle? No. Well, I thought I was gonna find Squirtle. <laughs> what are you, who are you? So you're excited to find Squirtle, but you haven't found it? That's what you're no, saying? No, I've not been intentionally trying yet, but I'm excited for it. I'm, I'm leaving it for later. By the way, I've caught like so many Pokemon in this forest. Don't even try catching anymore. I've caught Abra. I've caught Applin. I've caught Rattata, Bunnelby, Burmy. Bro, that is quite a few Pokemon. It is. And honestly, Jordan, I'm ready for more. There's a desert. Have you caught a Magikarp real quick before I leave this river area? I may not have. I have not caught a Magikarp, actually. I'm gonna catch that real quick just because this is a very simple catch and it will get more difficult as my Pokemon gets too strong. You know what I mean? Exactly, I agree. I kind of like catching things as you go. And what I love, dude, is that now that you get experience from that, my Pokemon will naturally grow as I traverse across the land. Yeah, I, Jordan, to be fair, we're gonna have plenty of Pokemon so we can always swap out to whatever we want to use for the day. That's, you know what, that is true, dude. Like, Jordan, we're planning to have every Pokemon. Also, this is not a desert. It's a really, really large beach. <laughs> Whoa, wait, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> it's a really large beach. What? Yeah. It is a really large beach. Hey, you, I'm going to go after Yama. You go after the Choodle. What is the main Pokemon you're using to catch things right now? Is it Bulbasaur? Uh, mostly Bulbasaur. I don't think it's optimal yet. because No, I got a crit. No. I'm using a uh, Slowpoke. <laughs> That's really funny, actually. Dude. I know. When's the last time you've used Slowpoke to do well anything? I don't think I've ever used Slowpoke to do anything. Oh, no. I killed Choodle, dude. I'm too powerful. Man, we're both struggling all of a sudden. This is my second chance to take down, or to catch an Aracuda. I'm not trying to take it down again, <laughs> man. But yeah, no, I took down Yama accidentally. Yeah, Yama's pretty easy. Well, you're using fire moves, right, probably? I'm using Slowpoke. Yeah, and it's fire moves. It's fire moves. Yeah, it's true, Jordan. All right, I'm going to catch Dupiter Nichols to make up for my killing of the Choodle. Okay, I'm going to go for Murkrow and probably Swaddle. I'll catch them both at the exact same time. How about that? That sound good? You got two hands. You might as well throw a Pokeball with both of them. I know. I also have a mouth. I can spit a Pokeball at a Pokemon. Wait, would you have to whip your head or could you actually spit it that far? You know what, Jordan? I don't know. I think I think I could maybe. I found me a Choodle. I could maybe make it happen. Nicholas, I found me a little Choodle. Oh, you can finally redeem yourself. Where is this Murkrow? Here it Redemption is. Redemption is nigh, unless it die. I think I might take down this Murkrow. Nope, 6.5% HP. Absolutely perfect. Beautiful, Nicholas. Did you know that when a Pokemon is at 6.5 HP, it is it is on the brink of death. <laughs> oh goodness. Y yes. And it will it will flock into your Pokeball, the only remaining safety it has in its life. Wow, that's dark, man. You should chill. Hey, wait. It's raining while I'm in battle. It's raining. Does weather only open when you're in battles? Or wait, is it just raining? Actually, it's raining. It's just raining. It's raining. How is it raining? Yo, let's go get Kyogre and Thunderous. Yes. And Landorus, not Landorus. It's just Thunderous and Tornadus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were trying to get, by the way, guys, before, before you ask, by the way, for that series, yes, we tried doing toggle what, uh, weather, whatever it is. It still didn't work. <laughs> yeah, and weather set. Jordan, have you caught Corefish? Did you say you did? Or was that another episode? I did not. So, okay. That was another series. We've been making a lot of videos. Go get that Ponyard you see on the beach for like really far away, okay? Because you're the Ponyard guy. It makes sense that you want the Ponyard. Oh, I do see the Ponyard on the map. I will find him. You love Ponyard. Oh, dude, it's lightning too. Yeah, dude, this is terrifying, man. Ah, it looks really nice. I'll be honest, I'm all for it right now. <laughs> I'm scared, dude. I'm catching this metal tipped Pokemon, dude, out in a storm. I'm gonna die. Yeah, maybe not very smart, Jordan. <laughs> oh, you... that lightning! I just saw it light a tree on fire over yeah, here. Yeah, this is very dangerous. Be very careful, my boy. I mean, I'm having a good time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run along the trees. I'm gonna hold out my metal object. Oh, this is so unsafe. <laughs> I'm gonna hold out my metal object. Oh no. Okay, I'm hunting down the swaddle. It, I've taken so much time to look for a Swaddle, Jordan, that I, I I need to find it and actually catch it. I understand, dude. Well, I'm in the meantime catching a Ponyard level 17. If I capture it, it will be my strongest Pokemon, dude, that I have yet, and I got it, dude. Nice! It's not shiny, though, so, like, what's the point? But I caught it in a Great Ball, so I might mistake it for being shiny. Dude, you know what? Something that is fantastic, we're gonna be able to start just throwing Pokeballs and just catching Pokemon outside of battle, just because the more Pokemon you catch, the easier it gets. It's kind of ridiculous. That's fantastic. Did you end up catching that Krabby that you said that you were talking about? I never said anything about a Krabby. Oh, no. Before we started recording, you're like, dude, I really want to catch a Krabby. I don't remember saying that. What, what was the context, Jordan? Did I uh, have any context for you? You, you sounded hungry. <laughs> 
Ah, that actually makes sense. But I did just eat lunch, but I am hungry. Ooh, Temple. Hey, Kakuna is evolving now. Yo, congrats. Bro, I feel like we're moving and grooving, dog. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about it too, not gonna lie. Quite pleased. I also think that your beach desert is hilarious. Have I told you this? Dude, the lightning, man, is it's really going off. Oh, dude, we're gonna be just like, didn't Benjamin Franklin didn't he say, stand in the rain, get hit by lightning, and you'll develop powers of flight? Yeah. Yeah, and that's how you, that's how they won the Revolutionary War. <laughs> don't against, do this, please, don't do this, George. Don't do what? What are you talking, dude, you, how- You will be in severe pain if you were to do this. Dude, the lightning is everywhere. How else would you win a war if you didn't have the power of flight? Think about it, Nick. Think about it. But what if your opponent didn't have the power of flight either? That's, that- Can British people fly? I don't know. <laughs> I think you do know, the answer is no. Right, right? Hey, I caught a Finian. I caught two Finians, actually. Whoops. Flow like water. Catch 10 water Pokemon. Dude, you're cruising down that lane. Wait, I've actually caught 10? I'm catching Puku Muku right now, too, so it's about to be 11. Yo, dog, did you catch yourself a Whooper or a Wiglet? Nope. Yes. Uh, nope, and then yes. All right, I will catch the Whooper then. <laughs> nice. You figured it out. I was so excited, man. I was gonna... I killed it because of grass is super effective, but I'll find another one. Don't you worry about it. Don't you worry about it. <laughs> Jordan, why would you do this? Man, this Pukumuku is not easy to catch, man. Well, it sounds sick. Oh, it's very good. Wait, what do you mean by sick? Like, sick as in needs medicine or like what? You said it's Pukin. Yep, yep, I, you, that's true. That is its name, Jordan. Now I got Pukumuku as well, Jordan. So it says, now go cat, go. Yes. Also, I'm going to release the lower level Finian. Yeah. For the reason being that it makes the box look a lot cleaner. And at this point, Jordan, six. 12, 18, 24. I've got 25 Pokemon. Yo, that's so And good. you traded me two of them briefly and then I sent them back. I have caught 28 Pokemon. It says we are 2% done with Dude. the entirety of the Pokedex. That's so good, man. Yeah, you did catch that Krabby, right? Yeah. Nice. Let me make sure. Yeah. Nice. Now I'm just looking for a whooper because I accidentally decimated one and it wasn't my fault. Yeah, it might be the it might be past the time for a whooper, Jordan. Yeah, I think it might be, which is very sad. Wait, is that a Sandy Ghast? Man, I thought it was gonna be a whooper. Well, I mean, we haven't seen a Sandy Ghast though. That's pretty good too. This is a massive beach, so it makes sense that there are Sandy Ghasts here. Well, dude, if there is a Ghast here, it would be Sandy at the beach. True. Good one, Jordan. Does Yawn work on a ghost Pokemon, by the way? It does. Uh Wow, interesting. I was actually uncertain. Oh, wait, Yo. two things. I'm a Zenta uh, spawn, yeah. so we can try going for that. Also, Sandy Gas, if I catch it, it knows <laughs> Hypnosis, which will be incredibly useful. That will be going straight to my Pokemon team. All right, I'm going to throw one Great Ball at it, dude. I don't think there's any purpose in it. Oh, wait, you already found it? Yeah, it's, on, it's a big old doggy, dude. It's very easy to find. All right, hey, I can't catch it. I can't. Dude, get over here, man. There's no way in episode one you're going to catch Zamazenta. I'm going to catch it, but first I'm catching the Sandy Gas. Cool. Man, that Sandy Gas is gonna put up a it put up more of a fight than you know this uh Zamazenta is going to. I like seeing dude, the Kyogre. It's a boss Kyogre, but it's over there in the water. Oh yeah, that is fun to see. Okay, first try Friday, even though it may or may not be Friday. It went uh shield form, by the way. It did, but it's okay. I'm catching it right here, Jordan. Okay, be very careful, Nicholas. It's very powerful. Wait, that actually didn't even look that bad, Jordan. That actually did not oh, look that bad, Jordan. Why did that not look bad? It actually looked pretty Good. It's because Nicholas picks them on as a cruel game and they want us to keep trying this even though it's absolutely impossible that we will capture it. It's not impossible. It's gonna happen, Jordan. It's gonna happen. I'm telling you, it's gonna happen, okay? Despite the fact that you think it's possible, I'm fairly certain it's impossible. It is possible. I, okay. It's completely possible. I'm doing it right now, Jordan. Don't even worry about it, okay? Do man? your thing, look man. This. Look at this. Look how many rolls this is gonna be. Bro, your Wiglet is called Wiglet the Easily Flustered. And you have making your Easily Flustered man taking care of Zamazenta? That crazy. <laughs> Oh, wait, Slash didn't affect me, so it's a sleep. Okay. I'm gonna hit it with one sand tomb. Dude, just throw a Pokeball immediately. Why would you do? Just take it, take it. Throw a Pokeball, man. I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling, uh, Safari Ball. All right, all right. Yeah, 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 Safari, we're in the middle of a Safari, right? It woke up and it hit me very hard. How rude. I like to, that it chooses to use Behemoth Bash or whatever its move is. When it could use anything. Please let me paralyze. It could use anything. I know, it's kind of messed up. Well, it was using super effective stuff also, like whenever it felt like it one rolled, two roll. No way, no, oh, okay. Dude, yeah. it actually may have been three rolls. I'm not even Bro, kidding. Bro, it, it looked like at least the start of a third roll. I saw a little jiggle. I, uh, one roll? Oh, okay. 
Jordan, I'm going to use the rest of my quick balls on it, and then I will give up, okay? okay? Because that is okay. realistically the only way I'm catching it. Yeah, I think you're right. Just because we don't have anything strong enough to go about this, you know? Okay, yeah, that was a two rule, which is not too bad. Here you go. Check this out, man. I'm gonna catch in a repeat ball. It doesn't make any sense, but it will work. Also, you took all my repeat balls. Ah, your turn. Yeah, I mean, I'm rooting for you. But Jordan, even though that only took a second, waste of time. <laughs> You're a waste of time. How dare you? I'm sorry, I just, you came at me, I kinda had to come back with thunder. You really didn't have to. I came at you with thunder because you made me work through lightning. Well, I mean, I didn't make you. You did, you said, Jordan, you have to catch these things. But it was fun, wasn't it? All right, yeah, it was quite fun. It was very, very adventurous. Baby Zamazenta will get hit by lightning and be caught because it'll be Ooh. really low or something. I don't know, man. I could threaten it. It's really hard to run away from this Pokemon, by the way. What if what if I burn down the forest, Zamazenta, unless you get into the Pokeball? Wait, Sandtomb actually does a ridiculous amount of damage. It's asleep now. I think this is actually reasonable that I catch it. I'm not even kidding. Dude, you've got it down to under half HP. That's absurd, Nicholas. Yes, and it's asleep. Wait a minute. You Jordan. have a level 20 Sandy ass. What am I looking this at? This is actually realistic now. This is really possible. No, it, it took not. me down. If I can get a yawn off, it's very realistic. This is absurd, dude. Use wide guard. I think it used all the wide guards already. So I'm going to hit it with a great ball because maybe that's the color scheme at once. I'm very, I mean, I know that you we're just gonna do the quick balls, but then you found some strat. I know, man. Like, Sandy Gas is kind of insane. Way more insane than I ever would have anticipated. I, I mean, this is where I'm at. Okay, it took down Sandy Gas immediately, so I Bummer. just run Bummer. and restart, yeah, yeah, and I use my to. next quick ball. This is my last quick ball. I wouldn't mind catching it in it. it. Jordan, I think I got two rolls on every single one, by the way. You really did, man. Oh, I really wish that you got four on one of them, though. Okay, it's asleep. I hit with the Sand Tomb. Yeah, it yeah, missed. Yeah, yeah. That's really stinky. Oh, it might stay asleep for longer than usual, though. So it's possible. They actually did stay asleep. I got to keep hitting it with the sand tomb, but it needs to be asleep. Yeah. That's awkward. Okay. That's not a lot. You might not want to waste it. They a use wide guard, so I actually got the drowsy off. Maybe I can do some more damage. Yeah, don't waste a pokeball until you have it lower, though. But just because now you know you can get it lower. I'm going to waste a pokeball while I don't have it very low. <laughs> okay. All right. Because uh, how silly would you feel if I caught it right there, doing the opposite of what you told me to do? I mean, I, my advice is still proper, though. It's still good. How do you know? I would still be happy if you caught it, but it's my advice is legit either way. Okay, I'm going to throw a premier ball. That's the color scheme it truly wants. Yes. Uh, okay, I have to get it low. It has to just not hit my Sandy Gas, Jordan, like at all. There we go. So far, so good. I need to hit it with as many Sand Tomes as possible. The issue is that the first one seems to miss every time. <laughs> Wait, what I do is I actually swap out here is what I do and let the Sand Tomb keep hitting it. That's not how Sand Tomb works, is it? No, I think it is. Is it? <laughs> I thought so. It doesn't look like it, but that's what I thought. Sand Tomb. Maybe I have to keep Sandy Gas out is the thing. Mm, yeah, he has to keep pretending like he's in a tomb. You got a crit though, dude. Okay, I'm gonna assume that I used, I wasted and used Hypnosis when I shouldn't have. Yeah. I'm gonna throw the Pokeball here, Jordan. Yeah. I'm throwing the Ultra Ball. It's still asleep. It's at 40%. This is valid. Man. There's a chance. This is Otherwise, possible. we'll come back and revisit this. This is super possible though. This would be so exciting to get started. Oh, oh. Oh. Because three rolls. Ah, I took yeah, it down, so. man. Dude. Maybe it used wide guard. Yell me if you want more Pokeballs, by the way. I have her. No, I think this is the last battle, Jordan. I Okay. I think while possible, it it's going to be a waste of time compared to if we just do this later. Yeah, but what about Is that true? Is that true? I don't know if I, I agree with that. I feel like this is like super possible. It's so cool, dude. What about the pog moment that this would be? I know. I wanna catch Zamazenta in the first episode so badly. I kinda wanna yell poggers and jump around my room. Can you catch this? Dude! Oh, yeah, don't get excited this run, Jordan. This isn't the run. It kind of looked like the run, dude. This one isn't the run. Are you reverse psychology? The next one is the run. How many Pokeballs do you have left? This have is plenty? like the jog. <laughs> Maybe even a skip. A little walk. This thing likes rolling twice, though. It, it does roll twice, like, every single time. Okay, I'm going to hit with the hypnosis. Perfect. And now it's time to sand tomb. The first one always misses. It literally did again. It's surprising, but it's so it true. It woke up immediately also. Oh. It used wide guard again. This is actually cool. the best run so far, I believe. This is going great so far. Yeah, dude. Don't wake up. Very nice. One. 
I think it'll probably wake up here. It did, but use Y guard. I should have used hypnosis right then. Maybe I'll use Y guard once more. It did, but it. Whoa. I missed the hypnosis. Oh, well, what is I happening? I missed hypnosis twice in a row and then it used Behemoth oh, Bash. But it is lower than it's ever been, dude. This is wild so far. Okay, it needs to use Y guard here. It did. I used Dra uh, uh, Yawn. I used Yawn. Yeah, That's yeah, very yeah. good. I'm gonna hit it with a water pulse. Do I, oh, can I damage it with any Pokemon realistically here? I don't think I really can. I mean, I think Pokeball, do you get it lower than you have for any of the other fights? Sure, now that the rain is gone, victory shall be mine. Oh, dude, oh, dude one roll. One, two, two roll. Two. Oh, I want it. I'm so excited, Jordan. I, I kind of really want it, though, dude. <laughs> I know! Maybe I really you should want be it. catching it there, man. Find your own Zamazenta. <laughs> I found this one. No. Two roll. It's always. This is my last Ultra Ball, so if you want to give me all your, all your Ultra Balls, I'll. I don't have any more. I don't think I have any more, dude. You have Quick Balls? No, no, I have like one Great Ball. Three rolls? <gasps> four rolls! Four rolls, four rolls! Dude! Oh, dude! Yes, man! Oh! The amount of times that my Pokemon are leveling oh. up right now, too, is actually <laughs> insane. Dude, you, you might get some evolutions off that. Oh, that is so exciting, dude. I Did think... you expect oh. to get that, like, actually? I I didn't, <laughs> and then I saw your Sandy ass putting in work, and I was like, wait a minute. Whoa, wait a minute, dude. I also got a Charmeleon. Dude. Well, I think that that's a perfect end to this episode. If you enjoyed watching, slam the like button, tune in for the next episode, and we'll see you next time in the next episode of our quest to catch everything. Wow. Okay, then. Look at this thing. You can ride it. Woohoo. Oh. Oh, this is unpleasant. Y y get on top of it, Nick. <laughs> Why are you its udders? <laughs> uh...